hand knit socks today all right I never know how to wear hand knit socks sometimes like I'm gonna wear these little boots um and my like my pants are rolled um and so like my socks are coming up out of my I don't know like is that a thing am I just like way off the fashion mark which is probably the case I mean I'm you know in my 40s like that's I don't know I don't know but I feel like I always will like do this ensemble and then it uh I'm always so self-conscious about it I guess so then like I'll change or change my socks or roll my pants down or something I don't know but um yeah so it is vlogmas day two I feel like I'm just getting such a late start. I woke up this morning about six, it was before 6.30, so maybe like 6.20. Um, my husband had to go into the office today, so he left about 5 a.m. to go into the office. And so then I was kind of on and off until about 6.20 or so. Um, but yeah, so I've been up for hours now and I just kind of got sidetracked and started cleaning our bedroom. So when we have people over, which we just did, um, our room is just a catch-all for everything, for all the extra mess. And because um, when we have people over, like it, everybody has a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of people. And um, so it's just easier sometimes to just put everything into our room. And so I'm kind of cleaning up from that aftermath. And then I started doing that and realized I really need to like deep clean the bedroom. So I have a um, like a donate bag going and I went through my closet and like there's still so much more to do, but I got that started this morning. So I just feel like it, while that was really great, it made me kind of off course this morning. So. Um, before I head out, I'm just going to package up some orders to get those out because I'm really trying to get your orders out like the next day after you guys order um, or if you order early enough in the morning before the post goes out, then I'll get those out as well if I can. Um, that's my goal at least. And typically I wake up early enough to where I can package everybody's orders and everything and then drop them off at the post office when I go get my coffee in the morning. But um, today is knit day, knitting day with, um, there's usually four of us. My stepmom usually joins us and then um, a new friend and an old friend join us. So um, we just meet at a local coffee shop and knit for a few hours and talk patterns and yarn and life and the world and all of that. It's really just food for the soul. I absolutely love going. Um, I think there will just be three of us today, though. My stepmom couldn't make it today. But um, yeah, really excited about that. We haven't met in a couple weeks just because of the holidays and traveling and whatnot. Um, so I'll take you guys along with me for that today as well. And then after that, I'll just be editing some Vlogmas. In, um, 
vlogmas footage is the the, the word for that. Um, yeah, so it was really cold last night. So I said that we were gonna have um, like this huge winter storm and I thought it was supposed to rain through the weekend, but it didn't. It like the cloud cover kind of dissipated and then it just got really, really cold. So like the water in our hose is frozen. We thought our eggs were frozen from the chickens this morning because we don't, we usually get them in the morning, like every morning. Cause they'll just kind of lay throughout the day and then we just get them in the morning. Um, but I think we need to start getting them before we lock them up at night. And then um, there's just a frost on the ground this morning. So it's really cold. So I'm all bundled up. I'm really hoping that the coffee shop is going to be warm. And, you know, I usually get an iced coffee. Um, hi, baby. <laughs> um, but I, I think it's time for a hot cappuccino today. So this is Maggie. You just saw her. She's the sweetest, sweetest love ever. She will just come up and sniff your face, but she doesn't lick. And she even like when she breathes out, it's the funniest thing. Cause when she breathes out, she'll like turn her head to the side. Um, so she doesn't even like breathe in your face. She just sniffs your face and then <laughs> walks away. <laughs> but... <laughs> She's so sweet. And then my other dog, Charlie is, um, she came in to see what all the commotion is going on here too. And Charlie is funny because she, her ears just do this crazy thing. Sometimes they're up, sometimes they're down. <laughs> just, we don't know why. She's um, half border collie, half lab. And her ears just do the craziest things. They're not always up like that. A lot of the times they're down or they're back if she's nervous about something, but... We don't know, we noticed it when she was a puppy and it has stuck. I thought maybe it was just a puppy thing, but it has stuck. So, and Maggie is just, she's a chocolate lab. Both super sweet puppies. But, well, Maggie is seven and Charlie is two. But, yeah, so I'll bring you guys along on my day today. friends. So I just um, took you guys along with me to knitting, to my knitting group. 
and I walked around. So the place that we knit at, it's actually like a, um, they, there's a coffee shop in the housing community and they have this um, huge garden that is like a home, like all, for all their homeowners and stuff. Um, and it's part of like their HOAs and everything. So there's a master gardener that um, tends to the garden. It's a huge garden. It's beautiful. And they produce all year round. So we're in California. So, you know, we get the occasional frost, but where we're at, it's pretty mild here. And um, so, yeah, so it's a beautiful garden. And we were just talking with the gardener. She's so sweet and just tells us what she has growing and going on. And we don't live in this community, so we can't um, get any of the produce. But it's just fun to walk around because it's just a really pretty garden. But that's like attached to the housing community where the coffee shop is. And um, so apparently what we've been told is that like, this is like the new up and coming golfing community, you know, like a while back, like golfing communities were a really big thing. But now instead of that, they're building more um, like kind of all inclusive housing communities, like um, where there's maybe some retail spaces within walking distance. Like this one has a little lake where you can paddleboard and kayak and stuff. Um, it's a man-made lake. And then it has the garden and it has the coffee shop. Um, they do like seasonal events out on their um, patio like, and they have a huge grass area and everything. It's really quite amazing. It's beautiful out here, but it's just, just a really fun place. The coffee shop is just very inviting and cozy. They're always hopping though, always really busy, but yummy coffee. Um, next week, I'll take you guys around the lake. I've not, I've been coming to this coffee shop like since they opened a year and a half, two years ago. And um, I've yet to walk around the lake. I've done stuff. We've done events here. We've done all kinds of things here, but I've just never actually walked around the lake. I think it's about a mile all the way around. So I'll do that next time. Next week, I'll take you guys on that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the clips of the garden that I shared. So I'm heading back home. Um, I'll have lunch with my son and finish up his school. And then I think he's going to have a friend over tonight. We'll probably watch a Christmas movie and I think he's going to sleep over. So it'll be fun. share something with you guys that I found this morning. So this morning when I got up kind of early, I was just cleaning my room as I was talking about earlier and going through some things and I came across something that I think I've had for probably a good year and a half or so. Um, but it was something that one of my sisters found when they were cleaning out my mom's stuff. And look at, it is this little ornament if you see closely, it, you can see my name is engraved in there. It's really hard to see, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, I think that, I don't really remember much of it. I do remember it being on our tree when I was little. And I think it had, I think she, the little angel was holding something like right here. Cause you can see like there's a little, um, like a little hook there. So it must've been holding something i'm really not sure but anyways uh yeah i just thought i would add it to our tree this year and pack it away with our ornaments because i my guess is i probably got it during a time when it wasn't um 
Christmas time and then I just kind of put it somewhere thinking I would pop it on the tree and I forgot because we keep all of our Christmas stuff in the attic so I didn't want to go up there because it's not like you have to have a ladder to get up in our attic so it wasn't easy at the time but anyway so just wanted to share that I just thought that was kind of cool um, and it's going to go on my tree this year. knows that like a lot of them are kind of bad you know just like way over ripe um, but we're gonna like I'm just working around and cutting out the bad parts and making the most of these because I love dried persimmons they are so good of course my dog decided to shake and her collar made all that noise <laughs> as I was talking um, yeah, these are really, really easy to dry. Like I just slice them up. I even like will slice a little bit off the top because I figure like every little bit kind of counts. So, and then these just go in my dehydrator. And they go for at um, 135 degrees for until they're dry. So my guess because these are so ripe and kind of wet, I, my guess is that these will probably go for a good 24 plus hours. But in the summertime, if I'm drying fruit, I will do it out in the garage um, so it doesn't heat up the house and then you have the extra cost of cooling down the house because it's so hot from the dehydrator. Um, but in the winter time, it's nice because it does give off heat and will warm up the house a little bit, especially the kitchen where it's more on the cooler side anyways. But like that one is kind of yucky, but maybe I'll just, let's see, maybe I can cut that section off. Dried fruit is pretty versatile. It's kind of a good way to, to use up some of your fruit that isn't 100%. Still tastes delicious. So if you don't have dried persimmons in your area or persimmons in your area, I know that uh, Trader Joe's, if you have a Trader Joe's, I'm kind of wondering if Trader Joe's is more of a California thing. Well, no, they're not. Because they put out those like each State has its own bag. If you've ever noticed that, like they used to pre-COVID, um, they would sell um, state reusable bags, or like they would have these like mystery packs that you would buy, and it was still like a dollar a bag, so it wasn't that pricey at all. And um, they would come out in the fall. And like they would just go so fast like all the the mystery packs there were three in a pack and three dollars and then um like you would open it up and it would have all these different bags from different states they've stopped doing that since covid but i remember man i would like call to see when they were coming in because they go that fast 
And so they would be able to tell me like, oh yeah, we got a shipment, they'll be out on the floor tomorrow or you know, whatever. So. Almost nine full trays from that box of persimmons. If there's a fan, so it might be hard to hear me, sorry. But this is what it looks like. And then this is my little top one here that isn't all the way full, but almost. So, and that's it. It just sits here. I don't have to rotate them at nothing. I just check on them. I'll probably check on them in the morning and then just see where they're at and then probably my guess is they won't be done until tomorrow evening that's it